this is damn good chicken. Welcome back to the channel everybody where today we will be spatchcocking this chicken and cooking it on the pellet grill. For those of you that don't know what a spatchcock chicken is, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get right to it. Let's get down below. Spatchcocking a chicken means you cut out the chicken's vertebrae to where you can open it up, lay it flat on your grill or smoker, and that way the chicken will cook more evenly and it'll cook a little bit faster. All right, let's get to removing this vertebrae. First thing you want to do, find the tail right here. And this vertebrae runs straight up to the neck on both sides. You want a good pair of kitchen shears and you're gonna cut right through the bones. All right, let's get this done. There's the one side, and let's get the other side done. Okay, and there you have it. Put that off to the side. You can either discard that, or you can use it to make chicken stock at some point in time. I'm gonna be discarding it. Okay, as you see, you can kind of open it up but it still will not lay flat. First of all, let's clean out the insides. We don't need any of this garbage. And then right here, in this crevice here, you wanna use a chef's knife or you can even use your, your scissors again and cut into this bone, this breastbone a little bit, and that'll allow it to snap and then lay flat. So let's do that right now. And it doesn't take much right there see how that just snaps open like that all right we're gonna get some of this trimmed off we don't need these big globs of fat we don't need any of this garbage this chicken is actually pretty clean okay so now we can oh let's get a little bit of this up here I almost didn't see it. Okay, I think I'm good with that. Now we can flop this over. And this bird should lay pretty flat. And there you have it. That is how you spatchcock a chicken. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is rub the outside and the underside with some olive oil. It'll make this rub adhere, and the olive oil will help crisp in the skin a little bit. And make sure you get it all over. Get under the wings, because you're gonna season under there. Okay, now we're going to flip this over, get the inside, all right, let me wash my hands. All right, we got a new rub to try that my girlfriend wanted to try on this chicken. It's called Thumpin' Orange Time. 
and it's a spicy, zesty seasoning, supposed to be. We're gonna find out, but it does smell very delicious. All right, let's get the seasoning this bird. Well, these holes need to be bigger. We're gonna solve that problem. Oh, the seasoning smells delicious. This is another good reason to spatchcock your chicken. You can get seasoning and flavoring on the inside of the chicken. All right, let's give this a flip. All right, we're gonna start underneath the wings. Gotta get all that flavor underneath there. All right, get it all padded in. Now we're gonna let this rest here while I go outside to get the Traeger. Heat it up to 325 degrees. I'll meet you outside when it's time to put the chicken on. Okay, everybody, the Traeger is heated up to 325. Let's get this chicken on. Okay, I'll be back in one hour to check on it. Okay, so our chicken is setting at 127 degrees internal temperature. Time to get some skin crisping butter on this chicken. Let's do it. Nothing but added flavor with this butter. All right, let's close it up. Check on it later. All right, we're one hour in. Let's give it another base with butter. currently sitting at 141 degrees. All right, let's get it closed back up and we're looking for that magic number of 165 degrees. All right, this chicken is done. Let's get it off the smoker. All right, let's get this delicious looking chicken inside and get it cut up. I am no expert at this, by no means. 
but I'm going to give it a good effort. All right, let's see what we got here. First, we're going to cut through the breast. Make them into half chickens. And we're gonna cut off the legs in the quarter. All right, let's get off the wing. I have no idea how to take this wing off, but we're gonna give it a shot here. flip it here there we go got the wing off there's one of the breasts let's get the other wing off there's the other wing and there's the other breast this is absolutely juicy I mean you can see it just dripping look at that and super, super hot. Well, spatchcock chicken was a success, I would say. Last thing we gotta do is we gotta give it a taste test. I'm a dark meat man, as you know, from previous chicken videos. So we're gonna start with this. I think I'm gonna cut the thigh off the leg and try the leg first. I'm gonna put some of this hot honey hickory barbecue sauce on it. I have to have barbecue sauce on my chicken. That's just the way I like it. I can't just have just the dry rub. Although the dry rub would, would probably be just delicious by itself, but I gotta have sauce. And I know a lot of you do too. Okay, let's give this chicken a taste. See how it turned out. Fantastic. If you never cooked chicken this way, you ought to try it. it. Took about two, two and a half hours worth of cooking time and well worth it. I've never cooked chicken this way before, but I will be doing it this way from now on. Oh, this chicken is juicy, juicy, juicy. Delicious, delicious. Do it. Put whatever seasoning you want on it, whatever sauce you want on it, one or the other, it doesn't matter. This is damn good chicken. You can do it, it's easy. You don't have to have a smoker, you can do it in the oven. Just cook it by temperature. Although with the smoker, you do get smoke flavor. All right, everybody, that's one leg down, plenty of dark meat to go. If you're new here and you like what I do, please hit that subscribe button. And remember one thing, as I always say, if I can cook it, you can cook it. Stop making boring food. It's just that easy. All right, everybody, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Sorry, but I had to go in for another. So delicious. Who doesn't like barbecue chicken?